You know those moments when a piece of information just breaks your brain? That was me when I realized how Aptera, the solar electric startup everyone's been whispering about, might be running one of the smartest, leanest operations in the entire EV industry. We're talking about a company that only needs to sell 6,000 vehicles a year to break even. Yes, 6,000. While competitors burn billions chasing profitability. Let's unpack how that's even possible and why it might completely redefine what an efficient electric vehicle company looks like. During a recent interview with the Aptera Owners Club, Aptera's co-CEOs shared something jaw-dropping. Their head of finance, after crunching all the numbers, materials, manufacturing, staffing, operations, calmly stated that Aptera would hit profitability after just 6,000 units a year. That number sounds absurdly small. Most EV startups need to sell tens of thousands just to pay the bills. So how does Aptera pull this off? The answer lies in efficiency, multiplied across every corner of the company. Aptera has built its entire philosophy around the idea that efficiency compounds. It starts with the vehicle itself, aerodynamic shape, ultralight carbon composite body, and a drivetrain that squeezes an incredible 10 miles per kilowatt hour. That same obsession with minimal waste flows into their financial DNA. Because their vehicle is simpler, three wheels, two seats, no paint shop, a fraction of the parts, they don't need massive capital expenditures. Where others pour hundreds of millions into tooling, paint lines, and oversized factories, Aptera's setup costs are almost modest. Every saved dollar shortens the road to profit. Their partnership with CPC, the Italian Composites Company, lets them produce rigid, safe body structures at scale without the monstrous overhead of traditional manufacturing. Less capex, fewer steps, lower energy use, all of it adds up to that miraculous 6,000-unit break-even point. To see why this is such a big deal, compare it with Rivian. Rivian builds fantastic trucks and SUVs, rugged, capable, and heavy. But that weight comes at a cost. Their R1T carries a massive 135 kWh battery just to achieve range comparable to Aptera's sleek machine, and it tips the scales at over 7,000 pounds. Every extra pound, every oversized component multiplies the expense. That inefficiency trickles through Rivian's entire operation. Bigger parts mean bigger facilities, more energy, higher logistics costs, and ultimately, more losses per vehicle. Estimates suggest Rivian loses around $40,000 on each car. So while Rivian needs to sell tens of thousands of vehicles just to slow its burn rate, Aptera could hit the black after one factory shift's worth of production. That's the financial equivalent of comparing a marathon runner to someone sprinting in sandbags. Aptera's genius lies in designing simplicity into profitability. Their San Diego factory can produce those 6,000 units per year on a single shift. Add a second shift, and production jumps to around $15,000, 20,000 Coltons vehicles annually, without needing a new facility. No paint shop, minimal assembly, compact logistics. Even their most expensive component, the battery, is smaller than almost every highway-capable EV in North America. Because the car itself demands less energy, it needs less battery, which means lower costs, lighter weight, and a stronger profit margin. It's the same efficiency logic that drives the car, translated directly into business math. Critics love to argue that Aptera's business model will fail because it's too niche. A two-seater with three wheels? Who'd buy that? But those arguments collapse once you realize they don't need hundreds of thousands of customers. If profitability arrives at 6,000 units, then selling 10,000 or 20,000 isn't just sustainable. It's lucrative. Aptera has already surpassed 47,000 paid reservations, meaning demand already exceeds several years of production at current capacity. Even if half of those cancel, 
the factory still stays busy for years. And once real-world reviews and road sightings begin, interest will only snowball. People notice this thing. It's futuristic, solar-powered, and turns heads everywhere. The same way the Cybertruck did before launch. Aptera isn't trying to outsell Tesla. It's trying to outthink everyone else. Not every driver needs a five-seater crossover. Plenty of commuters, apartment dwellers, and eco-minded enthusiasts just need a practical, affordable vehicle that can fuel itself. For people without home charging, Aptera's solar array could cover daily driving needs straight from sunlight. Even in cloudy regions, its efficiency means fewer charging stops and lower costs. It fits neatly into the growing gap between cheap EVs with limited range and luxury EVs with luxury prices. That's a huge untapped market. While giants like Lucid and Fisker scramble to stop financial bleeding, Aptera is poised to quietly roll into profit, a feat almost no other EV startup has managed. It proves that sustainability isn't just about energy, it's about resourcefulness. By focusing on efficiency instead of extravagance, Aptera might end up teaching the industry's biggest players how to build smarter, leaner, and cleaner. And as they expand, new factories, potential four-wheel models, larger battery options, they'll be doing it from a position of profitability, not desperation. When you see a company that can survive, even thrive, by selling only 6,000 cars a year, you realize something fundamental has shifted. Aptera isn't just another EV startup chasing hype. It's a blueprint for how the next generation of sustainable companies might operate. Efficient in design, efficient in spending, efficient in vision. So next time someone tells you the Aptera is too weird, too small, or too niche, remember? Sometimes the smartest business model is the one that dares to be different. That's why Aptera's wise capex isn't just impressive. It's revolutionary. What do you think? Could this be the model other EV makers should follow? Let me know your thoughts below. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay efficient, stay curious, and I'll catch you in the next one.